Okay, so we're going to start this session of Judgment News with the Fuddies. Shalom, everyone. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew Widow, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, coming at you with some Judgment News. I'm telling y'all, we went to the courts of the Most High about that energy that Donald Trump was trying to stir up with this hive-minded sundown town people. Yeah, remember? We cursed that energy. Well, this is the results. Look at them. They look so stupid. Now, <clears throat> I do believe that an angel gave somebody this bright idea because the angels are quite funny themselves. <laughs> Only an idiot would put a panty liner on the ear in honor of Donald Trump that looks like he has a panty liner on his ear. This is so crazy. And it says Donald Trump doesn't even have a stitch after assassination attempt, but a nice flesh room room. Eric Trump said, oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> This is insane. Anyway, what's happening here is that energy got cursed and they just they just showed their asses, okay? So Donald Trump he gets up there and he tells them, Fight! Fight in that Hollywood production. And he got these stupid idiot sun downtown people. Talking about they want to fight. Y'all see this photo ops? Do you guys see that? My granddaughter Jennifer, she said, Grandma, she said, I, when I saw these images from that Hollywood production, uh, I, this is what I thought of. And she showed me Abraham Lincoln and then those soldiers, oh, you know how they was, the Secret Service was surrounding him and the American flag was behind him. It's nothing but a big old Hollywood production photo shoot. And everybody there was in on it. I mean, it's just, that's what I saw anyway. Because nobody reacted to the bullets, to the gunshots. They were all in on it. First it was shock, and then I'm ticked off. And now, we're going to take it, just like my friend said, to another level. And we are going to fight, just like he said fight. We're going to fight. He is going to be elected and we're going to get him there. We're going to take him there. I, I just want to see it. I want to see her fight anybody. <laughs> because this is what Hashitana is left with. These old ass sundown town people. Yeah, that's, that's, that's who they're left with. It's a few young ones. He has some of the young ones, you know. Anyway, they think that he's their messiah, that he comes to save them. For Project 2025, and the Supreme Court made him king if he if he gets elected, and they think that the chips are stacked, uh, you know, on their side. They really do think that these people are so stupid. So now we see the weakness, we see the stupidity, and we see who they have that they want to start a civil war with. So I seen this Billy Badass. <laughs> His reaction. You fuck with Trump, you fuck with me. Man, that's what he said, y'all. That's what he said. Now they're in a big old confusion now, I'm sure, because a little white boy now, he is what we called a white, white boy. He is a pure white, white boy, and he was a Republican, too. So who are they going to fight? Who? Now, this kid right here in that Hollywood production ended up dead. Yeah, now everybody there had to be in on it because of the reaction. That proves that everybody was in on it because when there's a shooting, everybody runs for cover. And nobody ran for cover. 
So that lets you know everybody was in on it. And in, in, in his instant, he ended up dead. Yeah. But anyway. Yep, this is Donald Trump's army of Confederates. They gonna put us back into slavery. Kids, kid rocks old ass. And his little pea shooters. And that Karen. Yeah, all of those old sundown town people. That's who Donald Trump wants to start a civil war with. Mm -mm -mm. This is like, see, we could just eat our popcorn and just wait until the most high and do the 144,000 with their supernatural abilities like Geronimo. Yeah, I can see that happening, y'all. You know, like Geronimo, you, you guys look at those um, old sci-fi movies where <clears throat> somebody could freeze everybody up like on Twilight Zone. Everybody just freeze in time, and you got one person moving around them, wondering what the hell is going on. Well, see, that's what happened with Geronimo. He could control time, so he could have a hundred coming after him. Hell, he could have a thousand and slow them down a thousand times and just go take all of their weapons and bop them on the head and kick them in the ass. He could turn the bullets around. Yeah, that's the kind of power Geronimo had. And the 144,000 going to have the same supernatural abilities. That's why Geronimo's story is in Judgment News so much. He had the 144,000's ability. He's not, the angel promised him, you will never get shot with a bullet. He never got shot with a bullet. They sent the American army after Geronimo. And the Mexican army to capture him. And they couldn't do it. That's why they have the, his bones over there. In Yale University. They think somehow. That they their magic is due to Geronimo's bones. Because he was a magic man. He was a Hebrew. Yeah and the 144,000. Is who they are going to have to face. Yeah. So at a certain time. When they think that they are going to do this shit. The Most High is going to activate his 144,000. He's just showing us right now how he cursed their energy, y'all. You see what stupidity and weakness Hashitan's army has right now? And they can't get Gen Z in on it. They can't do it. They might be able to get a few of them, you know, these Trump supporters that brainwash their kids. You know, but it's a hell of a lot of them that just ain't going for it. And our Gen Z is definitely letting me not going for this bullshit. They're not going to colonize us like they did when they came over here before. With Christopher Columbus and them, systematically, they went from territory to territory before 1619. You know, they had it all under wraps by then because we were stupid. We were nice to these people because we didn't, we didn't know. You know, we were over here doing our thing, minding our own business, being kind to each other, had a love for each other, and camaraderie, and, you know, doing all this business, and we had our farmers out there, and agriculture, and cotton, and tobacco, you know, it was just like a whole, we had a whole, uh, beautiful paradise over here in the United States of America and so we had no we didn't fight amongst each other I'm sure we had little disputes and stuff but we were flowing on a very high vibration before these people came to the land flowing with milk and honey yep and see because we are high vibrational people in other words we have empathy and I can tell you right now, I know myself and I can just imagine that most of you can testify through going through the same experience that I have as being a very empathetic person. You always want to help. You always try to find someone to help and it just makes you feel good to, that you could do something to help solve somebody's problems or their issues. And... 
then the same people that you did all of these loving gestures for, all this niceness for, they turn around, they stab you in the back, or they'll, you know, steal stuff out your bank account, steal your money, steal everything that they can from you, talk about you like a dog. After you showed all of this kindness towards them, and it was hard for you to comprehend, how could somebody be so evil? I was just being nice. I, I did this for them. I did that. How could they? You know, it was hard for us to comprehend that shit because we were still asleep. And so that's how these colonizers colonized us. We were in peace with each, with, at peace with each other, just doing our thing. And here they come. They came, they killed, they steal, and they stole and they destroyed. That's exactly what they did because we were quote unquote nice to these people when they came over. I mean, and it was plenty for everybody after all, you know. When we, when we have a lot, most of us, not, I'm not talking about those that uh, sold out for Hashitan, but I'm talking about, uh, well, the star, all star seeds. If we have something, it, it could be great or it could be little, but we're very generous, yeah, and, and we have been stupid with it. We have been doing it. It's, 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 see, nice. I always bring up that word nice because the nice is kindness without wisdom, and that's what we did. And they crept in, and we let them creep in. And now we know the history of everything. So where we couldn't comprehend their evil before, we totally comprehend their evil now. We totally comprehend their anger and their hatred towards us with that evil as well. But our anger and our hatred towards them has awakened with righteousness. Yeah, so we pray for their doom. You know, I want to see the most high judge them. He already gave them warning. He gave a whole big old two solar eclipses where X marks the spot. Salem's all written all over it, telling you it's about the the most high's children. Despite Salem's being everywhere, that's the most, all about the most high's children. I'm painting you a picture right here. <clears throat> and then the second one with the Ninevehs in it. And Jonah and all the other stuff in it. Yeah, the Most High did a whole big old magical, magical display giving these people a warning for their abuses against us like they like he did with Nineveh. But they choose not to listen because they can't comprehend the truth. You know? They can see the courts of the Most High and they won't comprehend it. They won't comprehend what danger they're really in. Yeah, because they're not supposed to. We are supposed to see them for who they are and what they have done. So when the new status quo comes in, even though all evil is going to be taken out of this universe, every evil, but let me tell you something. We are going to be righteous rulers, righteous rulers. Righteous rulers, okay? And so these kind of people right here, first of all, before we even get started, they none people like that will not be welcomed anywhere around us. That's why the Most High told us, don't even mix with them. Because he knew what we were going to be dealing with. But he knew we were going to deal with them anyway. And we had to get the whole experience of just how evil these people are. And what they're after. So when we, can be, when we become righteous rulers, we are going to be very wise. We're going to have, the, uh, like a mother told me, everybody that has earned a crown and a throne, they are starseed, number one. And have a high level of empathy. Yeah. And a high level of wisdom. With our rulership. And our judgments. See this is a righteous judgment. You know. When, when we went after that energy like that. And the, whatever we say in the courts of the most high. 
That's righteous judgments. We're going after their wrong against us. Yeah, in righteousness. They're coming at us with anger and hatred and evil. And we're going after their asses in the courts of the Most High. Yep. And so when I seen all of the shenanigans going on and I heard them talking all that trash. And they definitely have a confusion in their camp. Now, you know uh, Donald Trump's wife. You know she's an immigrant. Well, I'm saying it's a confusion in the camp because Donald Trump chose J.D. Vance to be his running mate. Now, see, they were all right with, what is her name, Melania Trump? They was all right with her uh, being white and an immigrant, you see. But J.D. Vance has a brown wife. She's from India. So she's a she's an immigrant too. But she's brown. And, and they named their kids Indian names. And they're all in a rep uproar because of it. Yeah, because they look at anybody with any kind of melanation as their enemies. They came in and stole the land from the melanated people. But they don't want anybody melanated here. That's, that's, that's what their dream world is. That's what their American dream is. And that's where they're slaves, of course. <laughs> so they have a serious confusion in their camp. And Donald Trump just may lose a whole lot of them just because of that. They got all of this confusion, stupidity. And they got weak people with dentures. <laughs> and off. And Arthur, y'all remember the old people used to call arthritis Arthur. They say, I got the old Arthur. That who, that is who. Donald Trump's army is. That's what the synagogue of Satan got left. Because they are manipulating the whole thing. They're the ones that ordered the Supreme Court of the United States to make the President of the United States a king above the law, which is nowhere in their constitution. But they did it because the synagogue of Satan said, Let's make him above the law. He can just do any wicked, evil thing that we tell him to do with impunity. So they, they, they got that all set up. <laughs> they got Project 2025 all written out and planned out how they're going to put us back into slavery. And they, see, they don't think we're going to fight back. But we already fought back and look at them. Look at them. All praises, Yahweh. You know we have to visit the holy courts of the Most High every time we're in judgment, dude. Because we always want to come and talk to our Father about them. And today we had, you know, we had funnies in the news. The Most High showed us that he answered. He answered us, y'all. We asked him to curse the energy that Donald Trump that Donald Trump was was trying to uh, stir up with his hive-minded followers, his fans, and his loyal Trump supporters. Yeah, we curse that energy. And look at him, fighting amongst themselves. Just stupid. Yep, so all praises, Yahweh. Thank you for this rapid response we see what the ancestors and the angels tricked them into putting panty liners on the ear <laughs> they even tricked donald trump into doing it yeah father it was just a, he didn't even have to get a stitch and he put that big old panty liner i sure want to talk to that angel and give him his kudos for that one you are the ancestor whoever gave them that bright idea to follow suit and put that bandage on their ear <laughs> Yeah, Father, and we also ask you, we ask you that anytime they get on the airwaves to let it backfire, and he got on the airwaves with that big old shenanigans, that Hollywood production, and it backfired. Yes, all praises, Yahweh. Thank you so much, and I ask you to just put a spirit of peace upon our people and let their, their lights get brighter knowing that our redemption dropped nigh. I know my eyes have seen the glory. I'm looking at the glory of the coming of our Messiah. Yeah, and he's coming 
to trample the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. Ooh, he's going to loose his fateful lightning and his terrible swift sword on all their heads. <laughs> yes, I can see that. All praises to the Most High. That's why we're the first ones in Zion. We get to see the glory of the coming of the Messiah. Yeah, in the left hand, the judgment the Most High have stretched out on this earth, marking this earth for judgment. And he is going to balance those scales. Our hope is in you, Father, and we pledge our allegiance to the most powerful military in the universe that serves our Messiah, your firstborn son, the King, the King and God of this earth. Yes, all praises to the Most High. That is the download I have for you. Oh, I must say thank you, Mother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you, Mother. We adore you above all. The most beautiful one. Mother Wisdom, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, she's the one that tell me what to pray for. She just be, I be talking when I'm producing these videos. That's Mother talking when, when we're in the courts of the Most High. And all of these downloads as I'm speaking. Yeah, she's giving us all this wisdom, and she's the one that tells us what to target. And we're targeting exactly what she tells us to target. And hey, our magic is working, honey. We are the most powerful magicians on the planet. And they are required to fight us magic against magic. Yes, and I know. That all of their warlocks and wizards and witches and yeah, all of them that work for the federal government, yeah, they're not doing too good right now. Everything is going wrong. They're getting sick. Their children is getting sick. They're breaking out in hives. They got all kinds of things going on with them for trying to throw evil magic at us. Yeah, all praises to the Most High. It's magic against magic. So the only way they can fight us at Star Seed United was with magic. And the Most High has us factored in and we are winning. We are winning. We are part of the host of the Most High because we're fighting right now. We're doing spiritual warfare on a whole nother level. And the Most High appointed us and anointed us for this task. And we took on this contract before we even were born into this dimension. All praises to the Most High. And all of the attacks of Hashitan throughout our lives couldn't take us out. And look at us now. We are part of the Most High's great army. Powerful magicians. Judges. We got kings out there. And princes. Queens. And princesses. What? Yeah, we're coming into our power. Yes, all praises to the Most High. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity. Star Seeds United, you know what to do as we leave these holy courts. Give your Father praise and glory. Give your Mother adoration. And pledge your allegiance. Our be brother, the King and the God of this earth. Yes, all praises to the Most High. That is the download that I have for you today. Good news. All good news for us. All praise to the Most High. If you're new to my station and you resonate with this message and you want to join in the fight because the Most High gave us a way to fight back by opening up His holy courts to us. If you resonate with this, it's not for everybody. But if you do, feel free to subscribe. Yeah, join in the fight, join your energy with mine, because we go to the courts of the Most High with our issues. And He is answering all of the issues. All praises to the Most High. A special shout out to Yvonne K. And Marcus Parks, thank you so much for those gifts of love. May the Most High bless you thousandfold for whatever your hearts desire abracadabra thank you so much for sending me those gifts that's energy you know and i receive it and it really is a blessing to me 
in so many different ways. And I really do appreciate it. It really, really encourages me to keep on going. Because if you put your money where your mouth is, I know you resonate with this truth. I know you're participating in this battle. All praises to the Most High, and the Most High is going to bless you. Y'all going to be coming with some testimony. We about to be rich, y'all. The Most High even showed me the treasures of our sonship. Mountains made of precious jewels waiting for us. Yeah, that nobody, he, he didn't allow any colonizers. They can't go anywhere near it. They can't touch it. Yes, and believe me, it is coveted by all nations. But it's set aside for us. We're going to come out of this thing on top. We're going to be the rulers of this world. And all people, like these people right here, they're not even going to be here, I'm telling you. So, like I said, it's people of all nations that's going to be here for us to rule. Yeah, they're they going to be here for us to rule. But it's not going to be these kind of people. All of them are going to be judged. All of them are going to be taken out of this dimension. And it'll be good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, you guys. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we will dwell in that holy palace. That magical holy palace with our Father, the creator of all things. The Almighty One. And the master of the day of judgment, our beautiful mother, Marihala, the Holy Spirit, Mother Wisdom, and our big brother, Messiah, the king and the god of this earth, Abracadabra. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Star Seed United Forever. Star seed for life. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your kind support of this station. Yes, all your gifts of love. May the most high bless you 100 fold for whatever your heart desires. Abracadabra. Okay, until the next judgment news, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom.